I want to do a little history because, you know, like what was it, back in the early 70s? How many years ago was that? How many years ago is that? When I was born in 1973, you mean? Well, it was like 71, 1970, 71, when there was a publication that came out, Ann Cote wrote The Myth of the Vaginal Orgasm. And I took one look at it and I said, that's brilliant. And and not a, I'm not normally this way, but I pushed through and I got her information and I got really it. you contacted her. I did. I oh, just wanted so cool. to say to her that it was so brilliant. And when I talked to her, I wanted to work with her, you know, collaborate. Mm-hmm. And she was already out of it. She wasn't going to do no. She'd had hate mail evidently and I think her life had been threatened as one of those for writing the myth of the vaginal orgasm your life is threatened well this is why I'm telling the story and that she was she and she did I'm shocked she disappeared so thank you Anne and I'm continuing to carry the banner for orgasms that are centered in the clitoris, I mean, even if it's inside the vagina, it's in direct clitoris So you're saying you think the G-spot is really it's in the back end of your clitoris? The other side, women, sisters. So listen, it's your clitoris. No matter what else is going on, basically, it's clit stem that's working. Mm-hmm. And let it diffuse, let it go on out, but never, ever feel that you are inadequate sexually if you want direct clitoral stimulation and... I have found the best way to do that is do it yourself. I mean, do we know this or not? Do it yourself. Never send a man and do a woman's job. (laughs) I thank you, Carl. And Sister Carlin, I thank you. I think I'm going to give you a hug. I don't feel anything good inside my vagina while having sex. I only orgasm during masturbation and when he plays with my clit. Is there something wrong with me? No, you're perfectly happily normal, average, great, you're a woman. You're, you're in the middle of the bell curve, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, in the middle of the barrel. Uh, now, so, I remember that question. It's nice, what's great about the vaginal barrel is when you work your pelvic floor muscle and, uh-huh. and, you, and, and, and you work with the dick, it's going in, you relax it, when the dick's going out, you squeeze on the baby. Mm-hmm. Relax going in, squeeze on it coming out. Maybe while he's out there, give it a couple of extra squeezes. I call my butterfly squeezes when I just go really fast and go boop, boop, boop. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so that's your, that's your PC muscle, the, and you keep it strong by doing your kegels. And that will, that vaginal penetration enhances clitoral stimulation. This is my experience. I went for, I don't know, several years in, during the workshops where I wasn't doing penetration. I was just doing, and my masturbation got really like kind of. Oh, boring. It got boring. And I, so I decided to include vaginal penetration in my repertoire. Mm. And I started off with the, the barbell, which is little. And then when I wanted to do I it. I love the barbell. Yeah. Because you can pull it in and out and it slides a little. Or just nice. let it sit there and, and work your muscle on it. Sex is great, but I never seem to really want it. Um, I rarely initiate sex and find myself preferring to do other things. Help. So this yeah, is the well, low sexual desire. Welcome to the club. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, it changes. It's never the same. It's never constant. Well, you know. It can, yeah, but it can stay in a kind of a rut for a while. There's a million things you can do. And uh, actually, it may just be, we may, we, if we would see it as like a cycle, mm-hmm. like we have periods of, really high sexual interest and then we have periods of low sexual interest. It waxes, interest. it wanes. Waxes and it wanes. And Mine's I'm, been waxing a lot though. <laughs> is that more or less? More. <laughs> <laughs> she waxed all over the place. <laughs> what turns you on is the physical stimulation and that creates sexual desire. Sexual yes, desire yes. doesn't start first. Clear. You don't want it. You know, I, how to make me want it all the time. You have to play with yourself, and then you create the sexual desire. This is what I say all the time when I'm answering questions. Put your vibrator on your Mm -hmm. clitoris. It will feel good. For a minute or two, and the desire will be there. Part of it is also feeling that you deserve pleasure. So I think it's also how we treat ourselves and where we put ourselves on our list of priorities. And the one thing that I envy about men is they're always number one, and they always take care of themselves. And, that's, and as women, we're taught that we should just, like, you know, be like no. Rapunzel in the tower and wait for it's someone like, to save it's us. Like Fuck that. Leslie said it. At the end of the day, it's always about them. And so we, I think we need to be the same way if we want to have the same sexual appetites and sexuality. 
Because I think that's what feeds a lot of that. It's like, I'm a man. I deserve to be sexual. I deserve to I have that. I must be sexual. There's no it's question. It's part of my <laughs> image to be sexual. Yeah. And we've been trained to not be sexual. That's mm -hmm. part of our image, to be ladylike. Because you don't want anyone to think you're a slut. I had so many boyfriends that What did you say just call me? me? You said you called me a hoe bag. This, no, I like, you would call me a skanky hoe at the conference. I like that better. You skanky hoe. <laughs> Everybody should have the experience of walking into a conference with this hot piece of, of delight. And just, I mean, I, and because I'm, I'm usually a couple me. of steps behind her, I'm watching the action. It's like this little mini, you know, those little <laughs> dust storms that you see in the country? These, like, all these little lust <laughs> dust so, forms um, going around your life. I think it's because I have a lot of sexual energy and I let that flow out of me. And you're going to say it's because my ass looks like two hogs fighting in a gunny sack. And I'm going to say to you. <laughs> so it's basically the clitoral structure. The whole thing. So just, just think, vagina, birth, birth canal, clitoris, fun, sex, orgasms. What would you say? Absolutely, pleasure. We, unlike men, you know, their penis is for um, urination and pleasure. Our clitoris and that clitoral system exists solely for pleasure. A hundred percent for fun.